have to say I've had mixed results with uh, my vacuum casting before and um, that cast didn't go how I expected it to go at all. <laughs> if you uh, watch the, the, the pour, there was quite a, a flash, a sustained flame, and then um, a pretty big secondary flash that actually um, uh, flashed back all the way into the crucible. So I'm not really sure what the heck was going on there. Um, maybe I was burning off that that thin membrane layer, but uh, I think there was something else going on there. Probably, uh, I looked at the duration of the pour, and it was only about 12 or 13 seconds from the time the metal hit the pouring basin to the time I stopped pouring and it was full. That's about half the time of the non-vacuum assisted pour. So that metal front was advancing through the foam at twice the speed and having to evaporate um, the foam and thus get rid of the gas from evaporating the foam at twice the rate. So um, I suspect for whatever reason, even with the vacuum, it couldn't do that. And that was probably the cause of the big flashback there. But I was thinking the vacuum would just pull it right off the, uh, the part um, and it would just take metal. There'd be no flash or anything and it'd just take metal until the part was full. And that's not what happened at all. Uh, the other thing is, too, is when you look at the part, you can see here there's some signs of metal penetration. If you don't put coating um, on the foam pattern and you use vacuum, you'll get massive, massive metal penetration of the sand. But what these little boogers are here is <clears throat> they happen to be on areas that uh, you would get leakers from. The thing that's kind of interesting about them, though, is, is I can peel them off like that with my fingernail, and underneath them, it looks like the normal finish on, on the casting, like that one right there. Uh, these little parts, these little pieces right here, like this one you see, I can just flick that off there with my fingernail and they come off there for the most part. So it's kind of interesting that they've penetrated um, through the, the coating, but the coating and the surface finish seems to be intact underneath of them. So, you know, I'll do a little bit more work on this casting here where all these little, uh, penetration boogers are like you see right there just some of those little things like right here and all that if this was um, just a gravity fed casting I don't think you, you wouldn't see any of that um, at all like on this one from yesterday you know I mean obviously that that casting the surface and I hit that with a, a wire brush a rotary brush just to clean it up and all but it's you know cosmetically it's basically every bit as good as the pattern was on, on that. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of an interesting outcome for sure. And then uh, I was able to um, just pick the skin out of the pouring cup. Another thing that's kind of interesting on the pouring cup here, as you can see, if you look into it, is that line right there. You see going up the side right here? That's that flash. So, you know, that's the path. Probably the the byproducts of the decom decomposing foam that flash back into the crucible. That's the path that it took. And since it's on one side, um, I don't know, I'm thinking that uh, I probably burnt through the membrane layer there. And since it was only about an inch to the top of the mold, pulled in some air and maybe that was a contributor to the flashback. I'm, again, I'm just not really sure what happened there, but uh, I'm thinking I probably want to repeat um, yesterday's run where it was just gravity fed and so slow and tranquil to produce that part just to make sure it comes off the same way. Um, and then I've I mentioned I've got this commercial um, lost foam coating that I want to try too. And I, I don't know how it compares um, permeability wise compared to uh, drywall, but I'm presuming it's more permeable, but I, I really don't know that. But uh, uh, I've got a few baselines um, to compare it to and I'll get this casting cleaned up and we'll see how it looks and uh, we'll take her from there.